Listening to the Coffee Hour, I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Thanks to Concordia University Wisconsin for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. We have more opportunities to learn. We got to share a little bit with Dr. Uh, David Peter not too long ago about his upcoming workshop. And we're going to share a little bit more details because there is a whole slew of insight workshops going on this summer. Joining us today, Erica Bennett, Director of Continuing Education with Concordia Seminary in St. Louis. Good morning, Erica. Good morning. How are you? Oh, great. Glad to have you on the Coffee Hour again, learning more about continuing education through Concordia Seminary in St. Louis. All right. Do you have your coffee? Are you ready for a good conversation? I am ready. Yes. Yes. All right. Sarah, what kind of coffee do you have today? Are you? That's water in there. water. But I have, ooh, I don't even remember what I have. (laughs) It's very good. It's cold brew today. Ah, it's summer. No, it's summer. It's, it's cold. Not season. even officially summer yet, but you are ready it's still for some cold brew cold season. Brew. <laughs> right. I went down the street here to Caldi's. I go down there way too much since it's right down the hill. But I have recently gotten hooked on oat milk. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. In my coffee. I'm like so addicted to it. <laughs> I've heard good things about oat that. Oat milk latte is, mm. yeah, that's my go to. Oh, there cool. An oat milk latte. I don't know if I've had it at Caldi's. There's another one uh, in our neighborhood. Uh, mm. We don't have a Caldi's within walking distance yet, so <laughs> I'm envious. But that's, that'd be very dangerous. That be very dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Erica, share with us how does continuing education at Concordia Seminary in St. Louis support the the layperson as well as the church worker? I know Concordia Seminary graduates pastors and deaconesses every year, but also supports the the layperson and church workers as well. How do you do that through continuing education? Sure. So yes, we just had commencement on Friday. So, so another school year done. Yes. So what we, what we do is we do have workshops out of continuing education that we have here on campus. A lot of people will be familiar with our lay Bible Institute. We do three of those workshops a year here on campus, but then for years we've been offering local churches who want to host one of our professors can bring out our professor for a couple days to um, do workshops there. And most of the topics work for lay people as well as church workers. What is that value of being able to kind of share the, share the wisdom of the, all, the, all the wonderful professors that you have? What is that value for the, the church at large to be able to do these? You know, it's uh, just, it's, workshops? Yeah, sorry. It's, it's, it's just so wonderful, Sarah. <laughs> you know, we've been doing it for so long. I've been here at the seminary for 10 years, but we've been sending our profs all over way longer than 10 years. And, you know, when I first started, it's amazing how so many, not just pastors, but lay people out across um, our country, across our church body, are really what I call uh, fanboys or fangirls of some of our professors. <laughs> you know, they just want to sit there in front of them and, you know, just soak up their wisdom and just to be able to have the opportunity to engage and talk about different topics that our professors really are the subject matter experts and uh, people just love it. So what happens in these Prof Insight workshops? You said that they, they'll take a, sometimes a couple of days. Right. This particular workshop series, they are two and a half day workshops, which are led, as I said, by one of our faculty. And they're usually a Monday through Wednesday. So we usually get a lot of retired people or church workers there in the areas. But really, we are flexible. Um, when churches contact us and say they want to host um, one of these workshops, they can do it, you know, whenever over that two and a half day time period. We have one workshop this summer that's on a Thursday through Saturday. So it's just for some reason that Monday through Wednesday time period has worked, but we definitely can do them over weekends and evenings, whatever works for the church. So what what happens over that two and a half day period? Is it is it all like I don't know how many hours lecture straight that would be. That's too much math. Uh, No, it's it's 10 to 12 um, hours. So it usually, when it starts on a Monday, it usually starts right after lunch on a Monday and goes till dinner. And then they come back to the church that next day. And so it's all day. 
And then it finishes up that uh, last day in the morning and they finish up usually with lunch together. But it's just it's workshops are just in-depth studies on usually contemporary topics that influence the practice of ministry and worship. So, you know, we can have, gosh, we <laughs> there's lots of different topics, but we can talk about that too as well. Yeah, let's let's talk about what, what are some of those topics that have been covered. Some of the right. some of the the popular fan favorites. Yeah, so so people love to hear from our professors on different books of the Bible. So this summer we have both Old Testament and New Testament books of the Bible workshops. We also have a workshop on CS. Dr. Eric Herman um, is doing that this summer. We have workshops on archaeology and how that relates to the Bible with Dr. David Adams. We have adult faith formation with professors like Kent Burrison. And actually, he's team presenting a workshop with Rhoda Schuler up at Concordia St. Paul, Minnesota. We have uh, Dr. Rick Mars is doing a workshop on soul care. You know, that's really his expertise. But it really is just a wide range of topics. That really does cover a broad spectrum <laughs> from, from, well, breaking down into some of the categories that, that we see the departments at, at the mm -hmm. seminary as well, from uh, historical theology and exegetical theology to practical theology mm -hmm. as well, if we want to look at it that way. Exactly. Some really interesting, I enjoy our conversation with Dr. Mars all the time. Oh, yes. and I always <laughs> learn something that I can walk away with and, and, and take with me. So how then do we participate in these workshops? How do we get involved? And, and you, you mentioned earlier, it's, it's lay people, church workers, pastors alike. Are there prerequisites for any of these workshops? <laughs> you know, that again runs the gamut as well, Andy. We actually are doing uh, 14, 14 workshops this summer um, representing 11 different states. It's funny, when I first started in this position and I knew we were doing these um, workshops all over the country, I thought, well, shouldn't we be promoting these regionally to the churches in those districts and those circuits? So I was new to the position and I said, how about instead of just sending out one big brochure on all the workshops, what if we, you know, really cater it to the different areas? And that worked, but it was amazing how many people when they saw on our website or heard from their, where our faculty were going to be, some people plan their vacations around going to hear, you know, at Dr. Rick Mars or a Dr. David Peter. And so people really wanted to know what's the lineup, where are Concordia Seminary St. Louis professors going to be this summer? So um, well, now I really want to know now where are these professors going to be so I can plan right, my vacation. Right. And, <laughs> and as I said, we've got 14 locations this summer, but that's representing 11 states. We actually have three workshops in Kansas this year with three different professors. Dr. Reed Lessing, who used to be on our faculty, as I'm sure you, you remember, but is now up at Concordia St. Paul as well. He's doing two different workshops back to back in Ohio this summer. I mentioned David Adams. He's doing two of his workshops, two different topics in York, Nebraska, and in Nunica, Michigan. So they're just all over the place. We have this summer, for the first time, we have a church in North Carolina that wanted to participate. And so Dr. Rick Mars is doing his soul care workshop out in North Carolina in August. But we really, I mean, we have, we have some of our new professors, like Dr. Kevin Golden is doing a workshop. We have Dr. Jim Veltz, who isn't on campus as much as we like. He is doing a workshop this summer in Grand Junction, Colorado. So it's just, I mean, really people can go to the website, which is csl.edu, and it's under the resource tab up at the top, and then just go to continuing education in its workshop series. And so you can see the whole lineup. We have several workshops coming up in the next few weeks in June, and then we don't have any in July this summer, but then we come back with quite a few in August. Sorry, I was busy planning my summer. <laughs> right. <laughs> in North Carolina, I'm there. Well, I I noticed one of the new ones this summer. I'm very intrigued with Dr. Herman. Yes. Yeah. Lutherans listening to C.S. Lewis. Let's do it. Let's just go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> this, he's going to be in one of the, the Kansas ones, Ottawa, Kansas, with Dr. T um, sorry, Reverend um, Timothy Roth who actually was my very first student worker when I started here at the seminary. It's, it's fun when some of our recent um, grads um, contact me and say, hey, I want to do one of those workshops. Can I bring one of the professors to my church? And 
Like, absolutely. And so yeah, Dr. Um, Eric Herman is going to be, as I said, in Ottawa, Kansas at Faith Lutheran Church at the end of June. So you could still fit it in if that works with your calendar. You just do a tour of Kansas for your vacation. There we go. All, of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do we need to know to, to register yes. for the workshops? So as I mentioned, people can go to our Concordia Seminary website, which is just csl.edu. And the re- these workshops can be found under, as I said, the resource tab and then continuing education. And it's the workshop series. Registration is only $140 per workshop. So, and as I mentioned, also, we have lots of workshops in June. So the registration deadlines are always two weeks before the workshop starts. So if you want to attend one of the June ones, you should hop on the website as soon as you can and uh, get registered before all the spots are filled up. Very good. Very good. CSL.edu. You can find it in Continuing Education under the Resources tab. Our guest today, Erica Bennett, Director of Continuing Education with Concordia Seminary in St. Louis. Erica, thanks so much for joining us on The Coffee Hour. Thank you. Good to talk to you again. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth.